So we have combustion pressure building inside the chamber, resulting in massive forces pushing down on the piston. But the piston is obviously connected to the crankshaft via a connecting rod, which means that the piston also pushes down on the rod and then the rod pushes down on the crankshaft. The problem lies in the fact that the rod is inclined at a certain angle. The downward force exerted on the rod is directed at the small end of the rod, meaning that this force is actually trying to spin the rod. As the rod tries to flip over, it ends up pushing the piston against the cylinder wall, which increases friction. The sharper the angle of the rod, the harder the rod pushes the piston into the cylinder wall and the greater the friction. Reduced friction means that the less of the energy generated by the engine gets wasted on friction, which means that there is more available to be converted into usable work, aka power.